So hello my friends, Devon Linux here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the best gaming cameras. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. If you're looking to start your first streaming channel on YouTube or Twitch, a quality camera is key. Sure, most gaming laptops have built-in webcams already, but with small sensors, awkward positions, grainy videos, and fixed lenses, they're not the most versatile cameras around. Instead, they're there to get the bare minimum job done. But considering presenting a clear picture of yourself to your fans is vital in making a strong connection, they're unlikely to prove beneficial long term. So if you want your content to stand apart, a quality camera dedicated to streaming is the right choice. Dedicated gaming cameras provide a simple and effective all-in-one solution, and many offer targeted features like ultra-smooth 60 frames per second video, XSplit and OBS support, built-in microphones, and much, much more. And they do so with larger image sensors to capture more details, especially in low light. And with the sudden change in movement towards virtual, streaming cameras have become quite a hot demand today. So these days you can obtain a substantial upgrade in image quality and general functionality with little investment. But when it comes to gaming cameras, you have many options. You can opt for a compact or interchangeable lens camera connected to your computer as a webcam. And that's what professional gamers ultimately end up doing with time. But if you're a beginner looking to get started, it doesn't have to be that complicated or expensive. Thankfully, there are several highlight options designed with gaming and streaming in mind. And in this video, we've compiled a list of those best gaming cameras on the present market. And we've also included a brief guide on some of the factors to consider when looking at gaming cameras, which you can find in the pinned comment down below. Coming in number five, Razer's Keo Pro. Razer's Kiro Pro is the company's latest high-end gaming webcam, and it comes to the market to refine the original model with even more targeted features to help creators. It uses a 1080p sensor streaming at 60 frames per second using a variable field of view. With the Kiro Pro, Razer's added several notable additions over the original model. Firstly, there's a new HDR option to make your streams pop with vibrant colors and more contrast, albeit by dropping down to 30 frames per second. Secondly, they've updated the camera sensor and now uses a Sony Starvis CMOS sensor with backside illumination to help adapt to incoming light. And it's a change that greatly improves the camera's low light performance and general image quality. But crucially, the Pro features a variable field of view ranging from 80 degrees to 103 degrees. So streamers can now choose the effective focal length to highlight or remove various elements within the frame on the fly. Yet it also brings 60 frames per second video to the lineup for buttery smooth lifelike playback. Other bonuses include a tripod mount, a privacy cover, an omnidirectional microphone, and a one-year warranty. Overall, Razer's Kiro Pro is an excellent all-rounder and a perfect complement for gamers wanting more premium functionality. Coming in number four, Mevo Start. The Mevo Star offers powerful pan, tilt, and zooming functionality to streamers. It uses a 1080p sensor streaming at 30 frames per second with an 84 degree field of view. The Mevo Star is purpose built for streaming and it brings several unseen features to the segment. Firstly, it offers wireless connectivity and a user friendly smartphone app called Mevo Mic. Through the app, you can control the Start's pan, tilt, and zooming functionality, and doing so gives your videos the appearance of a second operator. But crucially, the Star uses face detection and scene analysis to provide an auto-piloting mode that automatically chooses the most exciting framing for you. Even so, the app also offers extensive adjustments, presets, and full manual operation. Secondly, you can stream on the go by connecting the start to your phone's hotspot with the included Wi-Fi module, and it's ready for six hours of continuous use to boot. Other bonuses include three spatial processing microphones, a microphone input, and a tripod mount. Overall, while pricier than rivals, Mevo Start delivers a hallmark design and refines the already class-leading Mevo Plus, and it remains a powerful all-in-one streaming solution, perfect for those gaming on the road. Coming at number three, Logitech StreamCam. Logitech StreamCam is ready to take your gaming streams to the next level. It uses a 1080p sensor streaming at 60 frames per second with a 78 degree field of view with image stabilization. The StreamCam comes with XSplit, OBS, and Twitch support from the get-go. No setup is needed. And it's also fully adjustable, so you can change both the pan and tilt or convert the device from landscape to portrait orientation. Doing so alters the aspect ratio to the 9x16 format for vertical video. There you can now share 
further videos to all the popular social media sites like TikTok or Instagram, yet the stream cam also captures video at 60 frames per second for buttery smooth videos, and Logitech also bundles Capture, their companion software to perform auto adjustments, presets, add chroma keys, filters, and do much more. Other bonuses include a tripod thread, dual front-facing microphones, a three-month license for XSplit, and a one-year warranty. Overall, Logitech StreamCam combines excellent software and image quality into a robust all-in-one tool, and it's a solid option for those with USB-C equipped devices that'll remove the guesswork involved with streaming. Coming at number two, Logitech's C922X Pro. Logitech's C922X Pro is quite a solid all-rounder at its price point. It features a 1080p sensor streaming at 30 frames per second with a 78 degree field of view. The Pro obtains dual omnidirectional microphones, capturing crisp, clear, and realistic sounding audio, but it also receives Logitech's capture software, giving you a full suite of customization from transitions, overlays, chroma keys, and manual control. Yet it also debuts with the auto light correction feature, which fine tunes the camera across various lighting conditions for razor sharp videos. Other bonuses include a tripod thread, a three month license for XSplit, and a one year warranty. Overall, Logitech's C922X Pro is a solid all rounder, and it makes sense why it's so popular given the refinements and variety it provides, yet, it remains affordable and not out of reach for new creators. Coming at number one, Razer's Kio. Razer's Kio was their original streaming camera and one ready to take gamers to a professional level. It features a 1080p sensor streaming at 30 frames per second with an 81 degree field of view. With this model, Razer's meticulously thought about the fundamentals of webcam design, and they've stripped away all unnecessary components. Instead, Kio features an innovative design hyper-focused on streaming, namely it brings an integrated daylight balance ring light to webcams, so creators can now mostly forget about setting up a dedicated light to get a decent result. Instead, you can vary its adjustable brightness to create flattering lighting immediately. Kio is also fully compatible with XSplit and OBS from the get-go, no setup is needed, yet it also offers full customization, letting users adjust profiles, the camera settings, and add presets. Other bonuses include a tripod thread and an omnidirectional microphone. Overall, Razer's Kio was the first webcam to change the market genuinely, and it brings innovation that removes much of the difficulties with game streaming, and it does so with studio-like lighting without being earth-shattering on the budget in the process. So there you have it, my friends. There's our list of the best gaming cameras. For more information, check out our website, photographypx.com. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and I'll take you right to the full post. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we miss something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>